Okay, a couple of months ago, the African People's Socialist Party issued a new book. Uh, except it's not really a new book. They reissued it. This is the testimony from the first world tribunal on reparations for African people in America. And um, this took place in 1982, and there are a lot of very convincing arguments in here, documents and testimony, uh, about how the United States government is committing genocide, and uh, about how reparations are deserved, right? But it doesn't matter whether these arguments convince you or not. What matters is that uh, the Chairman Omali Yeshitala and the African People's Socialist Party are convinced. And since 1982, the Chairman has been traveling all over the United States and all over the world making this case to anyone who will listen, not even to people who would rather not listen. Right? <laughs> but uh, Joe Biden has some uh, very smart uh, detectives working for him, and he figured out that all of this is actually a uh, big Russian conspiracy <laughs> to sow dissent in the United States. And uh, the ringleader they found out is this gentleman here, Alexander Ionov. And uh, his birthday is actually in a few days. He was born December 12th, 1989. <laughs> but Joe Biden, yes, Joe Biden, he has discovered time travel. <laughs> I hate the FBI. <laughs> we're, not supposed to, we're not supposed to have a political police in this country, but that's what they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't like what they did to Marcus Garvey. Uh, I don't like what they did to the Nation of Islam. I don't like what they did to Paul Robeson. I don't like what they've done to people who I don't even like. Yes. Yeah. But I hate what they tried to do to Caleb and to the Center for Political Innovation and I hate what they're trying to do to Chairman Omali Yeshitala, the African People's Socialist Party and the Uhuru Movement. So, I work to victory to a world without colonialism and without imperialism and without the FBI. <laughs> Uhuru! Uhuru!